point. Are you saying? <laughs> let, let me come to Sain Deepak. Sain Deepak, the point Rahul is talking about. See, all across the world, the left has the concept of safe spaces, right? And the right always mocks that concept of safe spaces. But the argument which you are advancing, is it not an Hindu version of space, safe spaces or the right-wing version of safe space, which is a traditional place, and you are basically adopting the, arguing the same left-wing argument in a more sophisticated language, maybe? See, uh, I don't wish to get into the left versus right debate because I don't see myself as part of the right wing. I see myself as part of the Indic wing. I don't believe that there is a concept of right wing in India. Second, let me be blunt. The fundamental issue has been the inability to strike a distinction between diversity and discrimination, between uniformity and equality, between pluralism and standardization. I have seen over the course of this debate and several debates okay. repeated references to untouchability, to sati and whatnot. There is only one temple dedicated to a specific deity who happens to be a brahmachari and in that particular place there is a restriction for a particular age group, not because of menstruation but because he is a brahmachari. And we are being told that that practice needs to be necessarily compared with untouchability, that needs to be compared with sati pratha, that needs to be compared with widow remarriage. Where is the sense of proportion in this debate? No, Second, I'd like to add I, something. I, I'll have to finish my point. I'm not yet done, ma'am. And I've been silent all along. It doesn't make a difference if India is a secular country or not. You know why? Because a place of worship is not a secular place. By definition, it is a religious place, OK? So please do not apply secular logic to religious places because you will not tolerate application of religious logic to secular places. Okay? Okay, my only... I'm not done. Uh, I'm not done. No. I'm not done. Please, hold on. Anybody, I challenge members of this audience, because you happen to be a citizen of this country, can you just get into the Supreme Court and say that I will practice in the Supreme Court without having the necessary qualification, without following the necessary rules? Because then your argument is going to be, no, no, but when the Supreme Court comes out with rules, these rules are meant for everyone. There are not separate rules. Fantastic. Then why don't you recognize the fact that when it comes to the Hindu faith, it believes in diversity of spaces. There are specific spaces which are dedicated to a specific form of energy, and there are specific spaces which are open to everyone. If this particular faith's diversity is finished through the weaponized form of equality, which is nothing but standardization, I'm sorry to say it will result in unwarranted Abrahamization of the Hindu faith and it will lose its originality, which I think is against the concept of Article 25 and 26. I'll just make one final point, one final point. You know, it's always possible to, to muddle the entire argument and muddle the entire issue by comparing it with something very, very bad or terrible. Nobody has been able to ask or let's say answer the specific question. When you say that this temple does not allow women and it has a problem with women, it is based on misogyny, it's based on patriarchy. I want to ask each of these people, what do you know about the temple before you've made that comment? What have you read before you've made that comment? Are you saying that you know better than centuries of people who have actually worshipped at the temple and who have practiced that particular faith? Unless and until you have a specific position, kindly don't make yourself the representative of the entire female community. You're not. Second, you can't speak on behalf of believers. You can't speak on behalf of the deity. You can't speak on behalf of the temple. To put it in the language of Game of Thrones, you know nothing, Jon Snow. Thank you.